to Northeastern Clinton Central School's annual fall festival, fall concert, holiday concert. Um, a few things before we get started. First of all, there are fire exits on either side of the stage up here and also back through the doors where you just came in case of an emergency. Also, while any of the students are performing, whether it's a band piece or a chorus piece, while there's actual music going on, we ask that you remain seated. And if you need to get up um, during the concert for whatever reason, that you try to do that between songs so it doesn't distract the performers. They've worked very hard to prepare this concert for you tonight. One last thing, if you have any cell phones or pagers or beepers or anything that squeaks or squawks or makes odd noises, if you could put that in some kind of manner mode or turn it off altogether, if you can, we would really appreciate that. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Ms. Nancy Warner, band director.
here replacing him for this one year. And it's been a, a real enjoyable time for me in a far different community than I was used to. I taught at Newcomb, New York for 20 years before I retired. And if you know where Newcomb is, it's far, far away. And there's no resemblance between Newcomb and this, this time of all. So, um, our next election is something really more appropriate for this time of year. It is a combination of three Thanksgiving campaigns.
hear a human interest story that uh, I, I want to tell and hopefully it will be interesting to you. My parents came from a small country in Europe called Latvia. Lost its independence in World War II. My parents were, were among thousands and thousands who escaped. Uh, my mother came into the country legally. She became a citizen, you know, and life went on. My father, unfortunately, entered illegally. And so he was always looking over his shoulder all during World War II. He was an illegal alien. When they finally caught up to him, he had married my mother. And I believe that, that my mother was already uh, carrying me you know, in pregnancy. And what they did was they arrested him. And they put him on a train along with my mom, and they and they trained him up to a little town called Rouse's Point, where they got off the train and they were bussed across the border, turned around, come into the United States legally. He got stamped as a, as a legal alien, and then life went on for them. They went back to New York City, you know, and uh, they continued their, their, their lives. When I first came to this town to work, uh, I spent one or two nights at uh, one or two evenings a week in Rouse's Point, renting someone's little cabin. Uh, one night I went for a walk in downtown Rouse's Point, and I tried to imagine if the community looked now like it did then. And many of the buildings look vintage, far more older than 1946, 1947, when this story took place. And so I walked on the sidewalk, and uh, the thoughts I had were, this is where they walked, you know, 59 years earlier than me. You were a very nice community. I really enjoyed being here. The last one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
emphasize enough how lucky we are. Thanks, thank you so much.